So the next glued. So now what we're going to do is drill a hole that goes halfway through the mortise and halfway through the tenon like mm -hmm. that. And a chunk of this oak dowel rod is going to be cut off and glued into that hole. Um, I used to have a just like a, a model of this kind mm -hmm. of a joint with the mortise and tenon and a couple of dowels in mm -hmm. it. And even without glue, you couldn't move that at all. It just doesn't go anywhere. Excellent. There was no play in it at all. So let me drill the holes and get this done. I set the depth here. Wouldn't want to go too deep. Well, actually this works out great because that's as deep as the uh, drill press will cut. So we're in good shape. I don't want the, the drill going back at quite that much of an angle. So I'm going to support the body. Oh, just shim. To, yeah, because, you know, at that angle, that's exaggerated, but mm -hmm. the, the dowel back out in the block. run out. Right, so I'm, I'm going to make it go more straight up and down. Very good. So? Now for the dowels. That's a pretty tight fit. I don't want these so tight that when I push them in it squeezes all the glue out. I want the glue to actually bind. Yeah, and sort of surround the dowels. So I just shave away a little bit of the wood. And mark this off. What a hack. Exactly the same depth, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Two oak dowels, Very good. five sixteenths of an inch diameter. So now I'm I'm just gonna sort of drizzle glue down the sides of the hole I'm trying to get it to go from different angles so I cover the entire hole with glue and then I'll push one of these in and you can see it oozing out mm -hmm. I always use a hammer to push them in, uh, you know. It's easier on my fingers. Sure. <laughs> so, I checked the alignment many times. Um, you know, I did that, that one alignment check tonight, but then when I was cutting the, the joint of a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. I checked a bunch of times to make sure everything was lined up right because taking this joint apart is an awful lot of work and well, so bet. I just want to make sure I have it right the first time so I don't really have to think about taking exactly. it apart. So there. All right. Now 
you just let that dry um, and then I'll sand it smooth and uh, we'll be ready to put the fingerboard on. Very good.